Hi and welcome to our first episode of our weekly animal news. Let's start right away. Insects are spiders food? That's an old news. What's new today is scientists found out that there's a certain kind of spiders eats fish and they are found worldwide. African farmers are having a problem. Chimpanzees are eating their food. According to BBC, chimpanzees stealing crops in parts of Africa. The chimps decided to pay a visit to the fields near the forest where they live and help themselves. Is that really considered stealing? Did you see a white squirrel before? Well, a British animal lover spotted not one but two of the extremely rare white squirrels in a garden in UK. According to a magazine called Science Codex, scientists discovered something called wolf effect. And that is, where you find wolves, you wouldn't find coyotes living in the same area, but you will find red foxes. At the end of our fun news for this week, dinosaur experts in Argentina discovered the world's heaviest dinosaur. He was as heavy as 14 elephants and he was as tall as 7 story buildings. I am not a dinosaur expert, but that guy looks really heavy. In order to give you the rest of this week news, we had to study and analyze over 60 articles. 20% of them was about animal crimes and cruelty. 16% was about shelters and what's happening in them. 20% was about RSPCA and cases reported in India. 20% was about dogs left in the car in the sun and 24% was about other individual news. Some of you might know about Dog Meat Festival. According to traditions of a Chinese city, eating dog meat and drinking alcohol are supposed to make them healthy for the rest of the summer. While animal people are still fighting in China against that festival and others, and Chinese are losing their taste for dog meat. Festivals like that are still going on in certain time of the year in China. A Chinese city holds the dog meat festival are trying to avoid the animal rights protest by holding the festival earlier than it's supposed to be. That's really disgusting. While in Taiwan, which is another city in China, animal people are calling on the government to enforce more strict controls on breeding of pet dogs. From officials who don't care in China to officials who somehow care in Africa and Cape Town. Two school girls was involved in a video showing them performing a sex act while they're killing golden fish. The Western Cape Education Department said that appropriate action will be taken against those students. Some people in Australia are not happy with one of the famous comedians as he is trying to make animal welfare issues a laughing matter in one of his shows. They are campaigning against that and they sent a letter to the Minister of Agriculture. Funny enough, that's the same minister who is trying to impose more strict measures and laws upon those animal activists who are trying to film suspected animal cruelties in farm. Looking in this week's news, it becomes obvious that animal shelters in the United States are having bigger problems. One shelter in California are having the problem of overcrowdedness and rat infestation, which means the animal shelter turns from a nice, safe, hygienic place for dogs and cats to an unsafe, unhygienic place for animals. And that simply means management failure. Another shelter in Florida are threatening people. If they surrender their animals, there is a high chance of putting them down. The question is, where is the long-term strategy? From this. Another shelter in another state just stopped taking in animals and is no longer taking in animals. Still operating but not taking animals. Again, where is the long-term planning 
and where is the long term strategy? As it's already summertime and temperature is rising in many parts of the world, there is two pieces of advice became so popular in our online social community. The first one is don't leave your dog in the car because it could be dangerous for him. The second one is don't give your dog ice water because that could harm him. When it's sunny, leaving your dog in the car is really dangerous. The heat and the light coming from the sun go through the glass of your car. The light reflects back again, the heat stays trapped inside the car and it becomes practically an oven turned on. The second piece of advice, the scenario is you take your dog out for a walk, it's a sunny day and it's hot, he gets hot and then when you come back you give him ice water. The problem here is once he drinks that ice water it might cause contractions in different parts of his digestive system and that might be harmful for him so just be careful when you give him water once he comes back give him a nice not so warm water once he cools down you can give him cold water as you wish this is the time of the year where animal welfare organizations issue their annual report Usually, those annual reports show people and governments, decision makers, donors, they show them the numbers of, of number of cases, the activities they've done, the achievements, and so on. Sometimes it's one report, sometimes it's different reports. That report is usually extremely useful in many aspects. Decision making, donations, as we said, dealing with the government have a very big political side and so on so rspca report came out and when you look in this week news you find a lot of news local news in different parts of the uk saying that rspca animal cruelty cases rising in this part or that part and so on which gives you indication that animal cruelty is extremely increasing in the UK. If it's rising everywhere, this has to be the case. But when you go and read the report, it gives you a different feeling. Let me read for you what they say here about the numbers. Nationally, the number of complaints also increased from 150,833 cases in 2012 to 153 770 in 2030 well actually the complaints increased but these are complaints not convictions and not cases and then they talk about the complaint the convictions and they say convictions fell from 665 to 625 over the same period so when you look at the numbers, that's not really considered failing in the numbers. The numbers didn't fall that much. But anyway, what, what I'm trying to say here is RSPCA need to be more clear and accurate about the reports they make, especially the news they give for news agencies and newspapers. World Meat Congress says animal welfare to be new moral trade barrier. I'm not bringing this piece of news to promote meat eating. What's interesting about this is the World Trade Organization is recognizing the animal welfare progress between people. People became more aware of animal welfare issue and what's happening to animals to the degree that those traders and organizations are considering the effect of animal welfare on their decisions. So well done animal people, that's a good word. Before we come to the end of this episode, I want to say something very important. We studied over 60 articles this week 
to get these 10 minutes out and we spent really so much time in it so if you like if you like these videos and you want to see more of them please let us know by liking the video or subscribing to our channel because that's the only way we can know if you have any suggestions please let us know through the comments and tell us what you think you want these videos to be longer you want them to be shorter you want to be you want a certain kind of news you want us to stress on because we're not gonna mind doing that we we already doing our research every week to get this out thank you very much for watching and staying with us and see you next week